Before we go ahead and use Noise Lab to run simulations, let me give you a quick tour of the user interface. So first of all, today what I'm going to be demoing to you is version 2.5.0. You can always see the version number displays on the top left corner of the screen. And as we've mentioned, we're evolving Noise Lab based on tester feedback. So you can expect this number to be incremented in the future as we incorporate um, new features to address tester feedback. The three important parts uh, in Noise Lab are, first of all, the parameter panel, this left panel, where you can go ahead and tweak all of the parameters you want to tweak. And once you're happy with these, you're going to click the blue button to simulate. This is the second important part of the user interface. When I click that button, Noise Lab is going to go ahead and run a simulation for me. Once I do that, what you can see here on the right side in this main uh, area, we've seen a new simulation appear. Uh, we've always displaying, we're always displaying a little timestamp here, um, just so you can differentiate two simulations you run one after the other. Then within each simulation, you're going to have, first of all, um, a summary of the parameters you've been inputting over here. So what you can see here, this is really just a summary of what I hit, what I had here in the left panel. This is to help me remember what are the parameters I just input. And the second piece that's um, really the one we're interested in for today is the output of the simulation and the actual summary reports Noise Lab has been generating for me based on the parameters I inputted here. Um, so here we can see in the output uh, here a summary of the noise ratios for these specific parameters in this orange box. This is the one we're going to be uh, looking at today. Um, and all these noise ratios are actually calculated based on, well, data that's been simulated by, by Noise Lab. We're not displaying it by default because there would be a lot of data to display. But if you're interested, you can look at the actual data table, the actual summary reports that were simulated by Noise Lab based on the parameters I input here. And you can also scroll through that table using here this uh, table navigation. All right, one important thing here uh, for Noise Lab is that none of the data we can see here is actually persisted in a backend. Um, so if you want to save the results of your simulations, uh, what you're going to want to do is download all of your data tables over here. So here they're going to be downloaded in an XLS uh, format, which you can come back to later. So I can go ahead and do that. Um, right, one last thing. We have two modes in Nose Lab, simple mode and advanced. I will describe these further um, in the rest of this presentation. But just so you know, this would be the way for you to switch between these two modes.